This video is sponsored by Decal Works, offering 10% off all graphics to retail customers. Use the promo code RX10 at decalmx.com to receive 10% off your graphics. Hey everybody, it's David Pingree. Thanks for tuning in to another Garage Build show here. Uh, I'm with Jay Clark. Uh, he helped us a bunch on this project. It's an 03 RM250 that we found in pretty much mint condition, I would say. I mean, the, the, the paint on the frame wasn't even worn off. This thing was very, very low hours, so we wanted to do something special, and so we kind of went all out. Jay, uh, just today is my first day seeing it really all finished and in person, and I love it. It's got a very unique look. I love the flat graphics that Decal Works did for us. Uh, the wheels and the bright yellow. It, it's really cool. Tell us, take me through this thing. What'd you guys do? So like with these older bike builds, we like to go through these things fully. So just stripped it down, got the frame off to that San Diego powder coating. They sandblast it and powder coat it. We went with a kind of a flat black looking thing. So it kind of stand the test of time and look cool for a long time. And uh, went through the engine completely, rebuilt that and had Tom Morgan uh, port the cylinder and cut the head for us on that. And he also jetted the carburetor got the FMF pipe and silencer. While we were at it, we went in and greased everything. We didn't need to do too much on uh, linkage bearings and stuff, just greased everything. Uh, it, it, was, it was still in pretty decent shape. We put new throttle cable, uh, clutch cable, all balls, has all that kind of stuff, so got that stuff done. And Applied made some custom clamps for us to fit you know, the newer style front fender to give it a new look up front. And the side plastic, we cut those um, to kind of give it a cool look and uh, updated look. Yes, that, that, that's the one thing that I wish some of these plastic companies would jump on. And they have with certain bikes, but the bikes that they don't make anymore, you can't get these a new side plate, and they're so big. The older ones look like billboards. So, Jay, you just custom do it and cut it. And I think it really sharpens up the way the bike looks, makes it look a lot newer. Oh, for sure. And, and it's, it gives it, a like you said, a really new look. With these Suzuki's, unfortunately, no one's gone and made an update kit. Well, there's no money in that, so right, here we are. Maybe you should start a company cutting plastics. <laughs> we got it down, and Nick at, uh, at uh, Decal Works, they have the pattern for these to make them so it looks all Sano, and it been a fun build. We updated a lot of things on this. One thing, you know, we mentioned, this didn't have a lot of time on it. It wasn't too beat up, but just being this old, it's important that those cables can still kind of over time, if they get moisture in them, kind of be a little sticky, so it's important to replace those on, so anything this old. Yeah, when something's 15 years old, there's some stuff that's just just old, so it's, it's good to go through it, and that's especially through the carburetor, hoses, things like that. Uh, we've got to rebuild all that stuff. Uh, we, we did some cool things. Uh, Raptor has pegs. No one has pegs, really good, cool pegs for an RM250. On this bike, we Raptor has these pegs for a KTM. Uh, it's like a 15 or so, the older style KTMs. And we were able to make these pegs fit on here nicely and work uh, work well so we can get some good wide tie pegs on this bike. Nice, they, and they look great. We've used these before, they're great pegs. Really cool looking wheel set on here. Tell me about this thing. So Faster USA goes through the wheels completely. They rebuild them and we put new bearings in of course and they Cerakote the hubs to give it a really cool like factory look. And we mounted those up right to our MotoMaster uh, Dis and Super Sprock Sprocket to give it a really cool look. Uh, also, faster Cerakoted these uh, brake parts for me. So we went through and rebuilt the brakes completely, new brake lines, everything, and new insides of the brakes to give this really cool look. Yeah, the, I love the Cerakote. You can do it in any color, but this mag color really does look like factory wheels, especially trim with the uh, the gold excels on there. It looks, it looks really great. Um, what else? What else we do this thing? So we got our, you know, of course, got the Vertex piston, V4 three cage in the motor. And, as far, and ICW went through the radiators and strengthened those up and gave it a really cool, you know, bulletproof look there. And again, just uh, all the basic stuff we do to it. And, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you think of this thing. So we didn't get too crazy with the engine, right? We want to keep it reliable. Did we do a lot of head work, any porting? Yeah, so there's, you know, Tom did porting. And in okay. the head, we left it so it can st still run pump gas. So, so it'll still run, you know, we could run, run some 91. We, we added in a little uh, C12 to this to give it a little bit more uh, to keep away from detonation. But so we, we still don't have to run, you know, straight race gas in this thing. Yeah, I mean, VPC12 is sort of the gold standard for two strokes in terms of just being a good, reliable fuel that makes a little better power, jets clean. But it's nice to be able to run pump gas if you're a guy who just doesn't want to spend that extra money. Um, I see also Renthal bars on here, which is cool. A lot of works connection parts and pieces. Um, anytime you're trimming a bike out like this, you, once you pick what colors you're doing, that's a great thing about works connection. They've got 
the, all these parts and pieces any color. So you can throw them on, really add a nice look to it. They've got the frame guards, so if you've got a, a, a steel frame with paint, keeps it from getting beat up. So this thing looks rad. I, I think let's get it on the track and, uh, and see what this thing can do. Like I needed uh, another reason to love two strokes. Uh, this thing is a ball, super fun. I forget, you know, you don't get to ride a lot of these older Suzukis. They're kind of rare, and uh, it's been a while for me. Done a lot of Yamahas and even a Cowie and some bunch of KTM's and Huskies, but this thing turns so well. It's standard Suzuki characteristics, right? Um, from powder berms to just getting into little ruts to even the way it jumps and the way you can turn it in the air. It's really fun to ride. Um, the motor was good. Uh, a little bit, we were a little bit rich here today, and we don't have a smaller main jet, but we will go back and clean that up. Uh, and it's not blubbery or anything. It just I think I can sharpen it up and get it to pull out, rev a little higher uh, if we just go down one. So that was kind of the only change we're going to make. Suspension. The guys at Factory Connection did a really good job. Um, it's it's uh, it's plush. Handles well. Handles uh, jump landings really well. I mean, nothing to complain about at all. And, and it's funny you get back on these. Even a 252 stroke feels so much lighter and easier to manage than, well, especially a 450, but even a 250F at times, it just, it feels so much lighter, uh, easier to move around. So I had a ball on it. The brakes were good. Motor, Moto Master rotors worked really well with the steel braided line. Gives you a bunch of stopping power in the front. Um, everything from the tires, the pegs, everything just felt really solid. Uh, kind of all the parts and pieces that I'm familiar with. So to me, it just felt at, like it was home. Um, and I think it looks great. I am really digging the flat uh, backgrounds uh, Decal Works has been doing and uh, the little parts and pieces, the way Jay made the front end look new and, and the side panels. I think it looks great. So stoked on this build. I, I wish I could keep this thing and ride it more. Uh, unfortunately, it's not ours, but um, it's a really fun bike. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe I can go sneak a couple more laps here before I got to give it back.